and welcome back to another episode of Seven Minutes in Heaven, a podcast devotional for educators. I am your host, Praisha Jordan, blogger in chief of prayerandpedagogy.com, where our mission is to edify, equip, and encourage educators everywhere. This is episode 13, A Lesson in Love. Now, as you might imagine, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. So, of course, love is in the air and love is on the brain. And that drove the topic of today's uh, podcast episode. But one thing in particular, when it comes to thinking about love, especially as a Christian educator, for me, has been the role that love has played for myself as a teacher in a public school. Um, A lot of times, a lot of Christians... um, wonder and think about, well, you know, especially those who feel called to teaching as a ministry and teaching as a spiritual gift, working in the public sphere and in the public classroom, sometimes there's this question of, well, how do I show Christ to my kids? And how do I show Jesus in the classroom? And I'm not allowed to talk about this and I'm not allowed to evangelize and I'm not allowed to do all of these different things, legally speaking, in a public classroom that sometimes if you're a Christian educator on a Christian campus and a Christian school, you don't have those same limitations. And so when I was specifically thinking about love this week, it made me think about how love has been such a powerful tool in my classroom, especially as a Christian educator in the public school. So let's get into it. Today's word comes from John 13, verses 34 through 35. And the God's word version reads, I'm giving you a new commandment. Love each other in the same way that I have loved you. Everyone will know that you are my disciples because of your love for each other. So this is Jesus talking to his disciples and he is preparing them um, for his departure (laughs) and kind of helping them set up themselves and kind of giving them some encouragement and some support before he departs. This verse particularly speaks to me so much about how possible it is for Christian educators to show Christ in the classroom without breaking any laws, doing anything illegal, and he sets it up for us right here. There are three things that I see here that Christ is showing us on how we can demonstrate his love to others. Let's get into it. First things first, love is not optional. (laughs) It says here, I am giving you a new commandment. And this is a commandment coming from Christ himself. And so we get out the gate set up with. And so right from the beginning, we can see that loving others is not optional. It is a commandment. It is something that we must do. It is an action that we must take. And so knowing that it's not optional, I think for me, gives me freedom to love other people eagerly and enthusiastically and consistently because it's not a choice. (laughs) Um, This is something that we are called and commanded to do as followers of Christ. And so when we remove the question of, well, should I do this or should I do that? The answer is yes. Yes, you should love people, period, point blank. That's it. So once we have that out of the way, number two, we can see that love is the example. In the part B of verse 34, Christ says, look, I've shown you how to do this. Love each other in the way that I have loved you. And this should call us into study, to deep, intimate study into the ways that Christ has exemplified his love for his disciples throughout the scriptures. We should be seeking that out as a template for how we should love other people. And we can see in Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, that Christ's love for his disciples is selfless. It is actionable. You can see it. It's demonstrable. It is forgiving. It is patience. It is kindness. It is gentleness. It is long suffering. It is all of those things that we think of when we see Christ interacting with his disciples. That is for us to be able to set an example for how we should love other people. One thing that I think is interesting is in Christ's journey, he's not always telling people who he is. He has specific places where he asks his disciples 
to be quiet <laughs> about who he is as the Messiah, where he does miracles for people and then tells them, shh, don't tell anybody, <laughs> go off, run away, um, where there are times where he specifically flees situations and interactions with other people because they are close to figuring out who he is as the Messiah. And so for me as a Christian educator in a public school system, I don't have to be telling everybody that I'm a Christian all the time. I don't have to be trying to evangelize my coworkers in the break room or subvertly trying to evangelize to my students in the classroom. I don't do any of those things. I respect the laws that have been written out and I follow them. But I'm doing that because I'm also following Christ's example. There is a time and a place and a space. And I follow the wisdom of the Holy Spirit to know what to say and when to say it and who to say it to. And I think that sometimes we can wrestle with that. But if we really do a deep dive into how Christ loved his disciples, it gives us a template for how we can love each other and how we can show that love of Christ to other people without even having to put a label on it that this is the Christ's love, that this is me showing you love because I'm a Christian. We can just love other people and do it. Matter of fact, we need to do it because he has commanded us to do it. And then he's also given us an example on how to do it. And then third, love is not internal. Verse 35 says, everyone will know that we are Christians, that we are disciples of Christ because of our love for each other. That means that they need to be able to see it. They need to be able to hear it. But one thing that I notice here is that everyone will know because of our love for each other. This is giving us an external way of demonstrating Christ to others but by interacting with other Christians. Right here, Christ is talking to his disciples. He's talking to believers. And he's saying, you want people to know that you know me? You want people to know that you love God? You want people to know that you are a follower of my word and my will and my way? Turn to the person to your left. Turn to the person to your right. Love them. <laughs> Love the disciple sitting next to you. Love the Christian working across from you and do that. And so I think so often we kind of get stuck on how do we let other people who are not Christians know about Jesus and how do we evangelize if we don't have the legal right to be able to do so? You're worried about the wrong thing. I think we would benefit if we would follow what Jesus has told us. He says, who will know? Everyone. Your students will know. Your co-workers who are not Christians will know. Other believers will know. But how will they know? Not because you break out your Bible at lunchtime. Not because you wear your pray, teach, repeat shirt, which if you do, thank you. But even not that. Not because you are seen praying as you're walking up and down the hallways or you're putting your anointed oil on <laughs> school property. People Everyone will know that you are a disciple of Christ because of your love for each other. And so I think when we wrestle with this conversation of how do we love other people? How do we show Christ, um, especially as Christian educators in public school spaces? How do we share our faith with others? Love. That's it. Love. Love the way that Christ loved us. Love each other. And when we do that, we have a guarantee that people will know who we are and who we serve, not because of what we say with our lips, um, not because of what we think in our minds and not because of what we feel in our hearts, but because of the actions of our hands and our feet, loving each other, loving out loud. That is how we make Christ known. And that is a wonderful way to celebrate Valentine's Day and every day. So here is your hashtag seven minute challenge for the week. Love out loud. Everybody's going to be doing it on Valentine's Day, of course, but I want to challenge you to show love to at least three people this week after Valentine's Day is over. Continue to show the love of Christ. When you do, hit me up with the hashtag seven minute challenge and let us know that you are loving others and the love of Christ out loud this week. 
This has been episode 13, A Lesson in Love. Thank you for joining me at the intersection of prayer and pedagogy. See you next time.